I tried water flossing. Here are my thoughts. I just started oil pulling a few days ago and this is what happened. But I was like so close-minded because it was natural and it was Ayurvedic and it was different. Yo, they lied about this pulling oil, y'all. There's one thing I would ask you to do. It would be water floss. water flossing here are my thoughts it's conveniently easy to use and a good alternative to remove plaque if you don't use traditional floss i will say though it took a while to get used to so keep your mouth closed when you're doing this. i got this one because it is a best-selling five-star ranking water flosser on tiktok shop it comes in three different pressure modes and a 300 milliliter detachable water tank but what i like the most is that it comes with an actual tongue scraper too so you can get all that gunk off your tongue and this thing comes with a 40-day battery life and it's cordless so it makes it super convenient to use at home or on the go i just started oil pulling a few days ago and this is what happened yes my gum started bleeding so i've been seeing this guru nanda go viral on tiktok and i thought y'all was lying so i bought it with my own money and y'all wasn't lying y'all i did not know i had gingivitis yes my gums were inflamed due to bacteria in places the toothbrush couldn't reach now i admit i don't use mouthwash all the time because it burned but this was so much lighter and so much better than mouthwash the coconut oil the peppermint and it had no alcohol in it and it's a natural teeth whitener and i'm trying to get them pearly whites okay and this is not overheighted so do yourself a favor and go ahead and cop it so you want to know if the guru nanda pulling oil is worth the hype as a hygienist when i first started in the field i actually like poo pooed oil pulling but i had a lot of patients who would do it and i'd be like wow your teeth and gums look great just keep doing what you're doing um but i was like so close-minded because it was natural and it was ayurvedic and it was different it was different than what i had been taught in school that was like brush, floss, and rinse with like an alcohol-based mouth rinse. Oh my God. So now I cringe thinking about that because that's so, like brushing and flossing, fine. Alcohol-based mouth rinses are terrible for you. And there's so much that I've learned, especially diving into like a more wellness, holistic side of things and like the Ayurvedic side. Oh my God, game changer. So let's talk about this. One, everyone's gonna be like, oh, well, can I just use coconut oil? Of course you can. But the thing is, is coconut oil, one, please do not spit it down the drain. You will clog the drain and then you'll end up having a huge plumbing bill. But two, the thing about coconut oil is there's just the coconut oil. What I like about this is there's added essential oils and added vitamins in this blend and you can spit it down the sink, which I didn't know at first. So now I do. And it tastes so much better than coconut oil. But as I said, you can still use coconut oil. That's fine. Sesame oil. That's fine. But I do like this blend a lot. So the thing that I really like is that their ingredients are in here are one, you can read all of them. So we have fractionated coconut oil, peppermint oil, spearmint oil, that's to make it taste good. Clove oil, amazing for the tissues. Tea tree oil, which is amazing as an antimicrobial. Um, cardamom, oregano oil is amazing antifungal. Um, fennel oil, vitamin E, vitamin D, amazing. E is actually really soothing to the tissues. We actually put it on teeth whitening if you get a little bit of the gel on there and you burn your tissue we put vitamin e oil on there and then there's vitamin k2 ah oh, i'm getting so excited about this vitamin k2 is actually a vitamin that tells the calcium in the saliva and in the bloodstream where to go in the body and it brings it to the bones instead of getting pulled up in your saliva and building a lot of tartar buildup so k2 helps with tartar buildup and it's in this pulling oil I just start doing it first thing in the morning as I'm like making my coffee and like starting to get myself together. Um, so somewhere between like a minute to five to 10, um, sometimes I don't even know how long it's in there sometimes, but it's so soothing to the tissues. It's hydrating to the mouth, which we have such dry mouths, especially in the morning. If you sleep with your mouth open, which is another topic for another day. And so this helps really soothe the tissues and protect them because that skin in our mouth, if it's dry, oh my God, it's so much more likely to get irritated and infected and gum disease and inflammation, ugh, all the things. So that is one thing this is great for. And then you also always get a tongue scraper and a toothbrush, which is like the, the really, really soft toothbrush that's great for your gums. Oh my God, it's like literally like a butter. Ugh, I love it. And when you do this and tongue scrape and brush your teeth, your mouth is gonna feel so clean, especially first thing in the morning. So what I would say is, you know, give it a try. Go through, try one bottle. And then if you like it, great. If you don't, then don't buy another one. But I had to start trying this to see if I really liked it. And ever since I started doing it, I'm like, okay, I've been sold. I literally have been sold on oil pulling. And as a hygienist, when I see my teeth and gums improving, it makes a difference. Like I already have good teeth and gums. I have great home care. This is just like an added bonus. And also if you want to track your progress, see how you were doing at your last cleaning and then do it until your next cleaning. And if your hygienist is like, wow, things look great, keep doing it. 
And if not, if it's, nothing's changed, then you can stop. So that's my recommendation. I think it's amazing. It's a great product and 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yo, they lied about this pulling oil, y'all. Nobody told me that after 10 minutes of swishing this around in my mouth that I would be spitting up tar. So apparently this stuff is going to go in and break down calcified tar that you don't even know is there because brushing and flossing does not get that out for you. I'm telling you, I did not realize how much gunk was stuck in my mouth and in between my teeth until I started oil pulling. Yo, this stuff will expose the truth on why you have bad breath, yellow teeth, and why you keep getting cavities. And this stuff will help with all of that and just make your dental hygiene better overall. So if you wanna get your teeth and your gums right, I put the link right here so you can grab this stuff and start oil pulling. If you wanna improve your oral health overall and you wanna add one thing, maybe you see all my stuff and you're like, that's too much. There's one thing I would ask you to do. It would be water floss. And I have gotten into heated arguments with dental professionals. I have had patients come into my chair who strictly water floss morning and evening. And they do not pick up string floss unless it's needed, like if something gets lodged between their teeth. And their gums are pristine and their teeth are healthy. I don't make this up. I just check their gums every single visit. I check their teeth. I look at everything. I do a full periodontal charting and I check every tooth for six points of bleeding in different areas. And I mark everything every visit. So these patients are coming in every three, four, six months. And I track all of that. And I see the ones that use a water flosser. And I can tell you right now, their teeth and gums are so healthy. So, so healthy. Like flossing is great. I'm not saying it's not effective, but when you add water flossing into your regimen, my God, it's like mind blowing. And there's been so many dental professionals out there saying that it doesn't work. And I just don't understand where the logic is. And if you wanna be your own case study, and that's what I did on myself because I wanted to make sure it worked before I recommended it to anybody, I water floss every day, twice a day. And I went from having tons of bleeding and inflammation in my mouth to having none. And yes, you'd be surprised me being a hygienist, my gums do bleed, my teeth have a bunch of fillings in them because me going to dental hygiene school does not mean that I'm immune to dental disease. It just means I know how to manage it better now and I also know how to see other people manage it, teach them and, and track it. So now that I've tracked progress, I can confidently say if there's one thing out of all the stuff I recommend that I would love for you to add to your routine, it would be water flossing, a thousand percent. Try it out and let me know what happens. And if you wanna try this one out, I'll tell you below.